Hello students, today we are going to do a topic of science for Standard 7, Chapter 1. The Living World, Adaptations and Classifications. So come along. Before we begin, let's recall what we learned in the previous standard. In what different ways is the diversity in living things seen? So, we had studied that there is a great variety of plants found on the earth. Some plants have colourful flowers. Some plants grow in water, just like the lotus. Whereas, some are to be found in deserts which have a scarcity of water. Scarcity of water means there is very little water or sometimes no water at all. Such as plants like cactus. Some plants are found only in snowy regions. Now some plants are so minute, so small that we have to see only through a microscope. Whereas some are huge in size. Like plants, animals to show diversity. That is, there are different kinds of animals living on this earth. Some are unicellular, that is, with just a single cell. For example, paramecium. Others are multicellular, that is, with multiple cells in their bodies, just like most of the animals, and we humans too. Some are vertebrates, that is, they have a backbone, whereas others are invertebrates, that is, most of the insects that we see are invertebrates. This world is full of variety of animals. For example, we find aquatic animals, that is, animals that live in water. Terrestrial, that is, animals that live on land. Amphibians, that is, animals that live both on land and in water. Reptilian, animals that are crawl. Aerial, animals that fly, etc. Now, these observations give rise to the question, how did this great diversity come into being? Now, can you tell? Are the plants and animals from Kashmir and Rajasthan of the same type? Can you elaborate on any differences between the two? Now, we find coniferous trees like pine and deodar flourish in snowy regions like Kashmir. However, in the deserts of Rajasthan, plants like cactus and acacia, that is babool, are to be found. Now we know that the camel, a desert animal, is not found in Kashmir. And so, animals like the brown bear, musk deer, snow leopard and the wild yak can be found only in cold regions of Kashmir and they cannot live in any other places. What could be the reason for these differences? This is because of adaptation. So what is adaptation? Gradual changes that occur in the body parts and also in the behavior of any organism which help them to adjust to their surroundings. Such changes are called adaptations. Now, these adaptations do not happen overnight. They take a very long time to show the gradual changes. Now, just like in the picture, we can see how humans have adapted themselves to the present day human being. Now, humans are able to adapt themselves in all kinds of climatic regions. Like we find human beings and in the snow, humans are able to live in the deserts as well as humans are able to live in forests and jungles. Fill in the blanks. Write your answers in the comment section below. 1. Some animals are unicellular while others are. 2. Some are vertebrates whereas others are. 3. Coniferous trees like dash and dash flourish in snowy regions like Kashmir. 4. However, in the deserts of Rajasthan, 
plants like dash and dash are to be found. 5. Gradual changes that occur in the body parts and also in the behavior of organisms which help them to adjust to their surroundings are called dash. This was part 1 of the lesson. To complete the lesson, do watch the other parts too. Hey, this video was made just for you. If you've liked it, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment and question down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.